<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Adam Ratliff with Adam So Fun, and you are joining me for my ASF December Quilt Along 2022. The December Quilt Along. It's the third annual December Quilt Along. Is that right? Yeah, this is the third one. Um, and I know it's December. I know some of you are busy. It's okay. Videos are always there. But um, we're going to be doing what I'm calling, I called it the Tula Quilt. I need to think of a December name for it. I would think it's, to me, um, it reminded me of like snowflakes falling. So it might be something snowflakey, but we're making this quilt. Um, you know me, I like to do stuff, lots of negative space. We want to play, we want to, we want a quilt. We want some inspiration for quilting. So this is going to be our quilt. We have plenty of negative space. It ends at like, it's not even, it's not, it's, it's not, it's a wall hanging. It's, um, I don't know, 48 by 38 or something like that. Maybe 42 by, no, I think it's 38 by 42. I don't know how big it is, but when the directions come out, you'll see that. Uh, but first, remember to, um, if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos drop. Um, I try to do release a video once a week, although sometimes my uh, work gets very hectic and I don't get the videos out that I want to, but you know, tis life, right? You ha Go back and watch something old. You always have me there. So like I said, these videos will always be on my YouTube channel, so you can make this any time of the year. Um, you can use the techniques when we get in and we start using Pro Stitcher, or if you don't have Pro Stitcher, I um, show, you, show and talk about how you can still do the things I'm doing without. But um, the first few weeks, we're gonna piece the quilt top and then we'll quilt it. So that's it. I'm actually gonna, so I have this one I need to quilt, and um, I'm making two. So I've been working on one that's black and white. So basically, we're gonna be making these blocks. Um, I am using a Deb Tucker ruler. This is by Studio 180, and this ruler is called the V-Block Trimmer. Um, if you're interested in getting this, you can get them at most of your local quilt shops, but one of our, uh, one of our educators, one of my fellow educators, um, is a certified instructor for Studio 180. So I will um, put her email address down below, and if you use the code ASF10, she will give you 10% off um, I don't know if it's your whole order from her, because she'll have Studio 180 stuff only, um, or what. But you can always email her. Her name is Kimberly Flanagan. She's fantastic. Uh, she's on the East Coast. But um, yeah, so I'm going to be using the V-Block Trimmer by Studio 180. Um, I have fallen in love with this ruler. When I made the Tula, I realized how easy it really was. Um, so yeah, I use, I've used it. Well, I've used it for that, but now I've used it like two more times. Um, and I have a pattern for it that I had bought all the fabric for, so I need to get that done. But I do like this ruler, so I'm a big fan of Studio 180 stuff in general. But uh, we're gonna, this first video is talking about this ruler, talking about how to use it, showing how to use it. Now, if you don't wanna buy a ruler, that's fine. Um, I will have a link below where you can go and download um, the pattern so you can paper piece these blocks. Um, I've created them um, in paper piece format, so you just have to print them out and then do your paper piecing with them. Um, so it's totally dependent on what you wanna do. Um, I had the ruler and I really like the ruler, so you know me, I like a gadget, I'm gonna show it off, especially if it's something that works really well. So. Um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about this ruler, talk about the size blocks we need. Um, the video's probably gonna come out later than I wanted to. I wanted to come out on the 10th and it's probably gonna come out on the 11th or 12th, only because I realized when I was piecing the black one, because I was doing like my practice run, that um, I didn't piece them correctly. Not that I didn't piece them correctly, I cut the wrong sizes, because this ruler will cut, let me see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Eight, nine, ten. Uh, this this ruler will make eleven different sizes of the block, which is again another reason I really like it because we're going to be using six sizes in our uh, in our quilt top because we're going to use a one inch, a two and a half, a three and a half, a four, a five, and a six. Six. Seven. Yeah. So we're going to have six different size blocks out of the eleven that it will make. So um, another reason I like it. But again, um, there's paper piece uh, a download for those paper pieced blocks if you want to do it that way. 
So if you've never done one of my quilt alongs, there's nothing official. They're not hard. Like I said, videos stay up all the time. You get to do them at your own pace. You can do them in 2024. Yeah, 2024. Um, Cause they'll still be here. Um, I just like to do a project start to finish where we're kind of doing it together. But mostly um, I like you to be able to see how I quilt it, kind of where like my brain goes and thinks about like how I'm gonna quilt that thing, but also um, the techniques that I'm gonna use to quilt it because I'm definitely gonna be taking inspiration from the quilt itself. And um, I'm kind of excited because I have three and I'm gonna be quilting them a little bit different. Um, for ours, for the quilt along, I'm making a blue and white because I wanted it to be kind of like snowflakes falling down, you know, during the winter, because it's December. Um, I'm making a black and white one for uh, a handy quilter challenge, and then I have my tulip pink one with all the fussy cut tulip, tulip animals. So they'll be quilted a little bit different. Um, all still in the taking inspiration from the quilt and the blocks themselves. So I just got a new idea while I just am talking to you. I looked back and said, oh, I might be able to do that. So yeah, so I'll be using this. We're gonna talk about the V-block trimmer. So we're gonna talk about the trimmer this week. Next week we'll talk about cutting the strips and piecing the quilt, and then we'll get into quilting it. Um, hopefully I can get everything done by Christmas. So um, first thing first, how this ruler works, you're gonna cut strips, and the strips are dependent on the size of your, uh, your finished block that you wanna make. What I like about it, again, I'm gonna tell you all the things I like about it because Maybe you want to get it because that's those are things you might like too. Um, if you're making a one inch finished um, block, which means you're making a one inch block that will be put into, in our case, into four, so it's going to end at a two by two, um, it tells you one inch finished unit, or that's better, one inch finished unit, not block, cut strips two inches. If I want a six inch finished unit, down here I'd go six inch, six inch finished unit, cut a seven inch strip. If I want a four inch finished unit, I'm gonna cut a five inch strip. So um, they are a trim, or this is a trim ruler, so I'm gonna make a block and then trim it to fit, which is another thing I really like because, let's be, let's face it, I'm not always doing things uh, perfect. I'm never doing things perfect. I, I thought I had a good quarter inch, I don't think I do. But um, we are gonna be using a six inch block, or a six inch unit on this one, so I've already cut some strips. So um, whenever I actually have the directions, my directions, that I, what I did to download, um, it will tell you, and I don't like wasting fabric when I don't have to. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting units out, trimming the strip, and then cutting the next units and trimming and trying to use everything. And I think I was be able to get all of my cuts out of two strips instead of having to do, you know, a two inch strip, a three and a half inch strip, a four and a half inch strip, a five inch strip, a six inch strip, a seven inch, so you know what I mean? So I'm gonna show you how I did that. For mine, the background's gonna be blue. So the blue is gonna be my background units and all my extra background negative space. And the white is gonna be for my, uh, for my accent pieces. So they're gonna be like my snowflakes. So this is gonna be my white. Everything else is blue. So when we're cutting our pieces for these units, um, it's a V, I have one, why don't I just show you? Since they're V blocks, or they have what they're calling them V blocks, um, we have a triangle and then we have two side pieces. So um, we're gonna need four of these units to make one block. So what I need to do from my white, because this is the same, my white is my accent, um, we're gonna need to cut four triangles from my white, and then we need eight backgrounds for our blue. I'm gonna move the camera over so you can kind of see a better view of it and see how it works. And then um, we'll talk about how to trim these and how to cut them. But you can always YouTube it. Studio 180 actually has a really great video on how to use it and different patterns that they do, because um, I had to go back and reference it. I was doing one thing wrong, but it still works, so whatever. But we'll see you back here in a second. All right, I'm moving some stuff out of the way. So um, we're gonna be working, so let me see, I'm gonna move, we're gonna do white first. So um, you might be able to see the, uh, read this a little better. 
Um, so when you look at this, you'll see that this is your one inch finish, cut two inch strips, whatever. So we're gonna be working with a six. So we want a um, six inch finished, seven inch strip. So um, the yellow is my accent. So we need this triangle here, or the yellow, the white. Uh, we're gonna be using this triangle line. You'll see one line that says center triangle trim line. So we're gonna be using that to cut my triangles. So um, on my first cut, and I'm gonna turn this, this is gonna be upside down for you guys. I'm sorry if I can turn the camera. Well, now it's gonna be like, well, I wonder. We'll see if I can do it right. But um, there's a dash line down the center of this. I'll turn this back around so you can see. That runs right here. And it says fold line for center triangles. So we're gonna use this dash line for my first cut. I wonder if I can. So I'm gonna fold my fabric over and I'm gonna use this, this dash line. So I'm folding fabric over, making sure things line up. I'm gonna put that dash line on the fold and that's perfect. I get a, it's because I, I don't like to keep my selvages. So I'm gonna line that over on my fold. You can see that the whole ruler fits right here. And I'm gonna take my cutter and I'm gonna slice. Now this is waste, can't use that. But when I pull, slide over and open this up, now I have my first two triangles. Remember, we're doing these in sets of four, so I'm gonna need four of these. So now, if I were trying to line this up, it's the wrong angle. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna flip this over, and now I have the correct angle for my next cut. I'm gonna use my center triangle trim line, line it up, and cut. And now I have my next two pieces. So those are for my um, six inch block. So the next block that we have so the next block we're gonna be using, because we're gonna do a six, but we also need a five inch block. So if I come back to my ruler and I read this, this says um, five, -ish, five, -inch, five inch finished unit, cut a six inch strip. Well, I already have a seven inch strip. So I don't wanna cut a whole new strip just because we need um, those other units. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trim an inch off of this strip. Don't forget to close your rotary blades. I can't believe I did that. I'm gonna trim an inch off of this. Just line my marks up, make sure everything's straight. And... So now I have a seven inch strip, but now I have a six inch strip. So I need to cut four more units. Again, wrong angle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my fabric over, line this up, and slice. There's my first two. Line my fabric up, and slice. And then I still have more, so I'm gonna do uh, probably some of the smaller sizes, but um, I'll have that written in instructions for you so you know. So that's cutting your triangle units. Now let's cut our side units. So um, the first thing, I wanna get a straight edge on this side of my fabric. So I'm going to just cut me a nice straight edge to start with. Don't cut it yourself. There we are. And I am, if you're wondering, I am using Color Wheel Solids from Connecting Threads. They're my favorite. So now I can, um, on my ruler, I'll bring my white back over. We're looking at uh, some other lines. So we use the dash line for the fold line, but there's this big, bold black line that runs down the front. And it says cut line for the side triangles. So we're gonna line this bold line up with the edge of our fabric and then we're just going to use this edge to cut when we get to the other side because we're going to have the opposite angle you'll see one line that slides the full length of your ruler on this side this is the side triangle trim number two because it's your second side so we're going to line the edge of the ruler up with the fat or uh we're going to line this line 
up with the edge of the cut edge. You'll see that in a second. And then we'll just use this side of the ruler. So you're flipping back, um, back and forth the sides of the ruler. So let me show you how that works. So there we are. The fat line is lined up and I'm gonna slice it. So there's two. When you're cutting these, um, especially if you're using fabric that has a print, you need to have wrong sides together or right sides together. Because as we cut these, where well, that's a seven, so I'm gonna bring my triangle. We have my triangle piece, and you're gonna get a right and a left side. And you need those mirror image sides to create the block. So you need this folded on itself, either right sides together or wrong sides together. And we need eight of these, so we need four cuts. So now I did the first one. So now I'm gonna turn my ruler around, line that edge up, and cut straight. There we are. Turn my ruler around, line my edge up, cut. And since this is a trim up process, if your cut is a little bit not correct, it's okay because you're gonna trim your blocks to be perfect later on. Cut. And now I have all my units for my seven inch triangles and I stack them like this because we are gonna have six different sizes and I stick them over to the side. So I'll put them over here. So now, just like I did on the last one, I am going to trim off one inch it's hard to see. It's one thing with these, um, these quilter select rulers, when you're cutting dark fabrics, they're sometimes hard to see. There we go. Now I have a six, six inch strip, measured it perfect. And now I'm going to do the same thing with my six inch strip. So we're going to cut. That was a little off. Turn my ruler, cut. Turn my ruler, cut. Turn my ruler and cut. So now I have my six inch set ready. I have my six inch triangles and they'll go into their own stack. So um, when you look at the directions, I'll tell you how to trim these out to get your other pieces. And again, I did this, I did all of my pieces with one um, seven inch strip and one five inch strip for all of the uh, six different triangles. Put those over here. So now let's talk about piecing these. Um, when you piece these, because we do have, I'm using solids, so it doesn't really matter which side is right and wrong, but I always, so I know that I'm gonna sew them correctly, I always lay them out. And I take them to my machine like this, so when I'm grabbing my next piece, I am grabbing and folding correctly, um, because you want it to end up like this. It's gonna feel weird when you sew this, so I'm gonna move these over. We're only gonna keep one, because I want my block to look like that. So when I sew this, I'm gonna flip it. Um, it's great because everything lines up. So I'm gonna line up my edges, line up my corners, and just sew my quarter inch. So I'm gonna go do that really quick. I will be right back. All right, so we have our block. We laid it out. I'm gonna flip this over, line up my points, and stitch. When that's done, it will look like this. And now we press, uh, remember this is all bias all the time. So um, press however you press. I always kind of finger, I, I steam set my seam and then I finger press it open and then I hit it. But once you have it open, we're gonna look like this, nice and flat. So then we grab our other side I always lay it down and then fold it because it doesn't look right because you're going off the fabric. Um, we still have points that we can line up, so it makes it super easy. So we line up our points, stitch my other side, 
it comes back looking like this. And then again, I'm gonna steam hit this and open it up really quick. And then when you press it, it comes back and it looks like this. So there we have our block. So now it's time to trim. So we're gonna make all our blocks. So we're gonna end up having a total of uh, 24, 24 blocks of different sizes. Well, four of each size. I'm gonna move these over. And so we'll just trim this one because it's here. So the second part of this ruler is the trim part. So I'm gonna bring some white fabric over again. And you have all of these boxes over here and different designs and everything. And um, it's made so easy because you have all these intersections and points. So these right here represent your seams. Over here, here's your points. So we're gonna do, we're gonna trim this. And, uh-oh, let me put that back over here. So I, wanna, I want the point towards me first. I'm going to come over here. I'm like, this is not big enough, but I'm using the wrong line. Um, so this is the ends at five inch. There we are. Um, so I have lines that represent my seam. I have the little triangle at the at the end where it's gonna the seam's gonna hit down here. I'm gonna line everything up, and now I'm just trimming around my two sides. If you're left-handed, watch the video from Studio 180 because they show you how to do all this left hand for, for lefties. Um, now I'm going to turn my block around. I don't even have to turn my ruler around because now I have reg registration marks on the top. And there we are. Here's my five and a half inch line. I'm going to make sure my points um, match up here and I'm gonna trim and trim and now my block is perfectly trimmed once you get your four blocks trimmed that's when you go and you start sewing them together so um, these ones are not trimmed yet but it will we'll be able to use them so um, the pattern I make I go up to the right down and to the left so we're kind of making this wonky star and so I trim them up again I lay it out so I make sure everything is getting sewn the correct way so I just fold over fold over and I'm going to I'm going to seam these seams. So that goes over there and here's some that I already did. So up to the right, down and over. So this is what it looked like when I took it off cuz I chain piece everything. Um, and then I when I open them up, is that right? I want to make sure my seams nest. This is gets a lot of bulk down here anyway. So um, I press towards this side that only has the one seam here. Um, I, if that's wrong, somebody tell me. But so I'm gonna press there. And then this one, I press the opposite way. So that when I put these together, they are going to nest. So then we're here, I'm gonna fold it over. And we're gonna sew across. I have my seam. I press this last seam open. It gets very, very bulky, like super bulky in here. So um, I don't know. It, it is what it is. Steam press it. And then um, I press it open. I do press this one seam open. And there's your block. So you're going to have 12 different blocks. So that's what we're working on this first week is um, just getting our blocks done. And then next week we'll put the quilt together. It really isn't hard after this. We're just cutting strips that are with the fabric and then um, sub cutting them to place our, uh, our snowflakes. We're gonna call them snowflakes in specific places on that quilt. And then once they're placed and we have that done, we can get to quilting. So don't feel like you have to get this done super fast. You do have two weeks to get everything done because um, I don't want you to feel rushed. It's the holidays, we have things to do, it's okay.
<laughs> All right, everyone. So that is week one for our December quilt along. Um, again, super, not very hard. If you're going to paper piece them, then you, like I said, you can download those um, patterns and piece them and then end up, you'll piece them block by block and then just put the blocks together, together or the units together. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. There's not a lot. I try to make it very easy because I do know that you're all busy. Um, like I said, next week we'll end up cutting the strips, putting the thing together. It's a very easy quilt. We want to get to the quilting. Like we want to have fun. Um, I'm going to be doing mine with probably some glitter thread, I think. I want to add a little bit of sparkle to it. I want to do something fun. But um, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos drop. And I look forward to seeing what you're doing. Make sure you post pictures, tag me. Uh, we can hashtag ASF December QAL 2022. Yeah? Let's see if I remember to put that on there. Um, and we'll see you on the next one. And remember, at the end of the day, it's just quilting. We want to have a good time. So if you mess up, who cares? Just don't tell me. We'll see you all next week. Have a great one. <laughs> Bye.